Now, this person in my life needs no introduction, but you need to know who he is. Um, we've been friends for many years now. We met on social media and we clicked. We actually speak on the phone, we chat, we talk, and it is all love. And today, I can't wait for you guys to hear our conversation because he's got some spicy things to say. He's got some juicy things to say. And there's a particular story I'm trying to get out of him. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you all to Timmy Two Times. Wait, say hi. Look at you. I'm so mad. You, you better not clam up right now. You better not give me no No, because <laughs> I want to I, I be on level 10, but before, when I start, can I cuss? Yes! All right, Timmy motherfucking two times, y'all, baby. I am here, baby. What's going on? I just had to make sure before I let it go, baby. Oh, so, man, let it go. Okay. First of all, we going to talk about that shirt. Ah, why are you covering it? Okay, tell us about this shirt. Because because Timmy got, he got, he got skills. He got skills. Child, this, this, um, child, this is my roommate gave me. This is, this is, this is the woman's shirt. Uh-huh. It looks good on you because of your frame. I just, I just made it work, baby. Yeah, it looks good on you because of your frame and your body. Tell them how tall you are. Child, you just, you just had, you just had to be sneaky and throw that shit. It. I love it. Tell them I'm how six tall. Foot, I'm six foot nine. Don't get it confused with position. I was like, maybe I should start some people six foot eight because I say no, six foot you're six nine, a tall Congo tree. Coconut tree. All <laughs> drink of chocolate milk, baby, because there's yes. no water over here. <laughs> there's nothing clear about this. Okay. He said he got soul, honey. He got flavor. Yeah. He got soul. Okay. So tell me about the shirt she gave it to you. Did you distress it like that? No, she just she just gave it to me, and I just put it on. I just I'm a big no, bitch. It looks so amazing. I just, I just kind of stretched it out, you know. You know, yeah, a little body oil goes a long way with it. You know what I'm saying? No, it looks amazing. And that's what a lot of people don't understand about like European clothing. Like I, that I didn't even realize that, you know, all the people in the industry were trying to get me to wear women's clothing, get me to wear this or get me to wear that certain frames on like, that's what people don't understand about fashion. Like it's not really gender specific. It's who can fit it. <laughs> it's and how and they wear the, it. <laughs> and that's the thing people need to realize that just because it's in the women's section. That don't mean it's, it's for women. It's a piece of fucking fabric. Right. It's just that you normally would see a woman with this certain type of body frame or whatever wearing this type of clothing. Right. But anybody can wear that. Just like the kilts and stuff like that. It's yeah. a fucking dress. They yeah. just turned the name into a kilt because it was just like, okay, let me, you know, so people don't, oh, I'm wearing a dress, but it's a fucking dress. And there are so many more boys being born that not that aren't naturally gay, aren't naturally a member of the community, but they have the body types. They have the body type to fit the clothing. So and that's why I know. say I like I like more or less like when I make my pieces, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I it's generally for men, but the, it's it's gender neutral. It's gender yeah. fluid. Anybody can wear it. I mean, listen. If you feel comfortable with it, you can put whatever the fuck you want to put on. Okay. Yeah. He took my next question or my next my next point, but yes, Timmy has uh, some some talents, and he is a designer, and he makes clothing, and he sews, and it's just it's so wonderful. So start there. Tell us first of all where are you from. We got to do all of that, even though we know all this. We got to do all that. So where are you from originally? I'm from Toledo, Ohio, which is a small town in Toledo, and shit, there is 30 minutes from Detroit. I left there when I was 19. I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. I stayed there for 11, about 11 years, where I developed into the person, well, started to develop, because at 19, you still a baby child. No matter what you say, you still, you don't know shit. So the, those 11 years allowed me to, the ins and the outs, get into relationships, learning about friends, you know, just learning about the community. And then like towards the end of the journey, I was just like, okay, well, bitch, what am I doing? Cause like all I've been doing is clubbing and drinking and having sex. That's all I've been doing. Like, Sounds what? like a great life to me. <laughs> yeah, it is a great life when you, when you this big, but when you yeah. get bigger, it's yeah. like, okay, like, what do what else do I want for myself? And it, for me, it was always trying to figure out what I wanted to do because I always knew things that I wanted to do. It was just that people don't understand. Like when you tell people things, like they can really be a buzzkill. Like you would tell them something, oh, why you want to do that? Like my parents, like it was so many things I wanted to do. 
-hmm. And everything I said, oh, well, why you gonna do? You know how long you gotta go to school for that? You know, that's a lot of work. I'm like, well, damn, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> what did I do? You're a creative. You know what they wanted me to do? What? Play yeah, ball. Oh, was, no. Are you and serious? That, and, that, and that's like, you know how everybody has the, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? They have something that um that triggers them and mm -hmm. makes them get upset sometimes like mm -hmm. um, you said the right word it's a trigger it's a trigger yeah it's another word i was trying to use but child that's what happened when you try to use big words you don't know what the fuck you're saying um so yeah it was like i didn't want to and they 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 for they forced me it was it was it was my school it was my parents it was people in the community it was family members it was just always on me to play and why you're not playing and stuff like that so it was just like as i've gotten older and I this this thing right here, baby, this mouth, don't play no motherfucking games. Yes. You know, tell me what the fuck to do. 